Today I'm changing the oil on a 2013 Honda Fit Sport. Before getting started, I'll make sure I've got all the tools and products needed. A good shop manual, rags, torque wrench, sockets, filter wrench, funnel, drain pan, and of course oil and filter for the specific application. A trouble light and a bag of floor dry to clean up any spills will come in handy as well. Always work safe and seek help from a qualified person if necessary. Never crawl under a vehicle supported by a jack. Work safe. Warm the oil before draining. A few miles of driving will do that. This car sits very low to the ground so I've got it on a couple of jack stands to raise the front end to access the drain plug and filter. If you need to raise a vehicle make sure it's done in a safe manner and never get under a vehicle held up by a jack. Remove the oil plug and let the oil drain completely. The drain plug comes out with a 19 millimeter socket. Sometimes these little filters come off by hand but this one is on pretty tight. The filter wrench is used to loosen it. Here a vice grip with a large jaws. Once loosened it can be turned off by hand. Make sure the gasket comes off with the old filter. The old gasket is stuck on the old filter. That's good. AMS oil, oil filters have one of the best efficiency ratings in the automotive market providing a filtering efficiency of 99% at 20 microns. They have a greater capacity for small, wear-causing contaminants than competing filter lines. The grippy textured finish helps get them on and off too. That's a good idea. The EA15K series filters, like this one, are recommended for up to 15,000 miles. I'll crack open a new case of Amsoil's Top of the Line Signature Series Synthetic. Good for up to 25,000 miles, 700 hours, or one year in normal service. 15,000 miles for severe service. Most vehicles operate under severe service. This engine uses 0W20. Pour some oil in the filter. You can't fill it because it mounts sideways and it'll spill. Having some oil in the filter reduces the dry start time and helps oil pressure come up quicker on the first start. Thoroughly oil the filter gasket prior to installing the filter. Clean the mounting base with a clean rag and be sure the gasket from the old filter isn't stuck on it. The instructions included with your filter will show how tight to make the filter. This one is tightened three quarters of a turn after the gasket contacts the base. It's easily tightened by hand. Wipe off any oil on the engine so that you know it's not leaking. A new crush washer should be used at each oil change. Here's the old one. Here's the new one. And here's the old drain plug with the new crush washer. In the meantime, the oil pan is drained completely. Carefully wipe around the hole and reinstall the plug. Make sure it's not cross-threaded. It should easily turn in by hand. This is a view from behind the engine. The drain plug points straight back. 
Use a torque wrench to tighten it properly. Your shop manual will have the proper torque value. Here, I'll tighten this one to 29 foot-pounds. With that, I'm done under the car, so it's time to hang up the creeper. Anyone that watched cartoons on Saturday morning knows nothing good comes from leaving something like that laying around. The oil filler cap is tucked under the cowl, so a funnel is mandatory. The manual calls for 3.8 quarts. I'll put in about 3.5 quarts, start the engine so the filter fills, and check for leaks. After it sets for a few minutes, I'll check the level and top it off. To reset the engine oil life display, hold the trip reset button in until it flashes, let off, then hold it in until it quits flashing and the oil life is back to 100%. The old used oil can go back into the containers it came in and then taken to your recycler. Any spills are cleaned up with some floor dry. For more information on purchasing Amsoil products or to download the latest catalog, Check out the links in the description to this video or go to MidwestSynthetic.com. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.